Hi, my name is Eric Rodenheiser. You probably know me as the uh, guy in all the iParty commercials, like the Mad Doctor. He's a good driver, you know, that guy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is my son, Griffin. Hi. And we'd like to show you how easy it is to use uh, the Snazaroo product that iParty has. Snazaroo! And you're saying, oh my God, I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. But it's very easy, and I'm going to demonstrate on my son, Griffin. Sound good? Yep. Uh, so I think what we're going to try is uh, is this guy, okay. which is a very a simple but very uh, effective uh, zombie, kind of a zombie. Yeah, kind of like a skeleton zombie. Yeah, or a skeleton, of course. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get started. What you want to do is you want to pick out your Snazaroo product, which we picked out. Uh, also, iParty conveniently has brushes that you can use. I like to use uh, two brushes, one thin one thick and then uh, sometimes you can use your finger. Uh, all you need is some water and a couple of napkins and we're ready to go. Let's get started. So now we have the brushes right here and you can also have this brush again your finger and I'm going to try this. I'm going to dip my finger in the water very simple and I'm going to try the white. Just move it around. It's water based so it's very easy. Nice and thick. Then I'm going to put it on Griffin. Now there's no directions here. What do I do? Uh, it's very simple. Um, just start with the lightest color first. So look, lightest color, I'm gonna go around Griffin's eyes. And if you look over here, look how, how much that's spreading on there, that's good. So finger, if you know the person, use your finger. If you don't know the person, maybe use a brush. Right, Griffin? Yeah. So there is uh, one, look at how quick that is too. You're, you're, it's Halloween, you forgot, ah! So you're really trying to put this on quick and look how easy that is. So we're putting on one side there, just like that. I'm re-dipping, I'm not using too much water. I'm just using enough to make it uh, look like a little bit of paste there. And I'm just going all over, here we go. See how busy iParty is, has to answer the phone. Yep. Again, you wanna use the lightest color first. I'm getting in his forehead. I can go right over his eyebrows. You're only half dead, Griffin. Go. I'm not getting too close to his eyes with this because I'm going to be getting in, uh, putting some black there. How's that feel? Good. Just don't get too close to the lips because I lick it. I lick them, but I probably yes. won't. This is a good safety tip. Don't don't lick it. Although this is non-toxic, easy to wash off. Soap and water takes it right off. Look, I have no idea what I'm doing, and it's coming out great. Look hey. at that. Now if you see any places that you want to uh, add some more, you can just add a little more there. You blend it in. It seems to blend in very nicely. For an inexpensive makeup, it seems to be working out very well. So we're just going to do Griffin's whole face white. white. So here we have uh, the finished face. Um, I've, I've wiped off my finger for next. So I'm going to be doing black. And uh, here's a little trick is if you want to make this um, a little smoother, you can just use a little baby powder that you have at your house, which, <laughs> which I've just discovered, right? Yep. And this is all taking about five or six minutes just to do that. So here we go with some black. I'm gonna use the brush this time. I'm looking at my picture. Oh, oh it's very easy. It looks like it's just a circle right yeah. there. See that? Circle. And look, his eye is a circle. So I'm just gonna go around the circle. I'm gonna cover his eyebrow with some black. Here we go. Black coming. Ooh, the black is nice, look at that. Nice black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start up here and your, your child is gonna wanna squirm around a little bit, but that's okay. Look how nicely that spreads. But I don't squirm. No, you don't squirm. No, you're a non-squirmer. Just close my eyes because I don't want it to get in my eyes. There we go. Now you can, you can stop there if you want or you can just uh, get a little bit more closer to his eyes and let, uh, let the child guide you. How's that, Griffin? Okay, now here's the test. Griffin, look up. 
Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is paint underneath his eye a little bit closer. There you go, look, we've already got one eye. That was quick, oh my gosh, that was so quick. Look, it's a little grayish black, I like that. So um, we're going to do that, and then we're, it looks here like, oh, I have two. to do a line. Maybe you have to do one line and here that? and another line down there. So this brush looks like I could use, um, use it for that line. And if not, you can use a smaller brush like this one. So Yay. let's use the bigger one for now and see what happens. I'm just going to draw a line. If you can draw a line, you can do this. Here it goes. One line. That's great. Uh, then it looks like there's another line under here, so I'm going to do this. And again, I'm just copying the picture, and it's just lines. Look at that, just a line there. Okay, now I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm going to use his, do his nose. Griffin, may I have your nose, please? Mm -hmm. And this looks like, to me, it is a triangle. So forget what you think it looks like, just do what... Uh, the shape is, it's a triangle. Okay, I'm gonna do a triangle on Griffin's nose. I think I'll start here. I've made a triangle, boink. I'm gonna fill it in, coloring in the nose. I'm just gonna fill in his whole nose there. You can make a line down there. Do you have to sneeze? Mm -mm. Not now. There we go. And there, look, it's just a triangle. And then it says that uh, on this picture again, there's just some lines here. Now this guy, this little dude has his mouth open, but we're gonna have Griffin close his mouth. And we're just going to paint some lines. So I'm dipping in my little brush here. Tiny, tiny. Tiny brush, and I'm gonna ask Griffin to be silent. Good, and then I'm just gonna do a line like that. A line like that. Just making little lines here. And if you find that you're running out, you just re-dip. There we go. Look over here, please, Griffin. Just doing some lines. Now here's a little trick that I do is I use my finger like this. See on his head? So I don't accidentally ruin what I did. So there we have some lines. I'm looking at my picture again. And it looks like they want to add a little crack. So I just make a little crack here. You just wiggle your brush. You don't have to be a pro. Look, I'm just wiggling the brush. I'm gonna break it up a little bit. And then you can maybe do this. You could just draw around it if you have a little artistic skill there. Look at that. See, that adds a little bit more to it. I'm gonna add another line here. But basically, this is, this is half, it's half done. So let's see what it looks like completed. Yeah. So uh, here's what I've done. I've done the other side. I did his lips a little bit black, which was a little artistic maneuver on my part. I don't see any black here. And then we extended the lines. I'm looking at my picture, basically just a line, 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 line. It's all about lines and circles. How easy is that? And then uh, this is finished. Now let's see if Griffin's face looks like this. Griffin, could you look at the camera and go like this? Oh, I mean, that's almost identical. So it's very easy. This is the first time I've used Snazaru, and I find that it, it, it's very um, creamy, it works great. All you need is an extra brush. You can use your finger. Um, and then if you want to do a little powder, which it looks like we don't even need on this white, uh, you can make them a little scarier. You can add your own techniques to this if you want. But Snazaru seems very easy and very inexpensive. And uh, so Griffin looks like you're going to be uh, a zombie or a skeleton for Halloween. Yep. Okay, great. Well, give us your best. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Uh, so looks like, thank you, Griffin. Uh, looks like you can do this on, uh, he's seven, he sat still very well. Um, so why don't you come over here, little guy. Okay. So the trick is trying to get your four-year-old to sit still. <laughs> sit still. Dad, why sit are you still. Sit. Um, face painting. Why am I going to face paint him? It's going to be a long conversation. So uh, I'm Eric Rodenheiser, and this is uh, the product Snazaroo for iParty, right? I party is the one. Do, do, do.